Okay, so here I'm going to give some examples of finding the distance and midpoint between um, a pair of given points. I know this is pretty much it's review, but sometimes they can get a little confusing or we have a hard time remembering exactly what we learned in the past. So you're going to have questions that will ask you to find both the distance and the midpoint. Here at the bottom of the screen I provided the generic formulas. Um, we're doing distance first. The distance between two points, x1, y1, and x2, y2, um, and the little 1 and the little 2, that just means the x from the first point, x from the second point, and so on. But what we're going to do is you take the square root of the x value subtracted, and you square that, plus the square root of the y value subtracted, and you square that. You add those two together, and finally take the square root of that entire quantity. And it's just important to work carefully as you go through it because it's easy to make some mistakes. So let's start. We're going to do A here. <clears throat> so here's our two points we're working with, 3, 6, and negative 1, 3. We could call this x1, y1, our first point, and our second point could be x2, y2. It doesn't matter which is which. Okay, you're going to come out with the same answer either way. We're going to do the square root of the x value subtracted. So negative 1 was the x from one of my points, minus 3. 3 was the x from my other point squared. Plus, now let's subtract the y's. Now we have to subtract them in the same order. This is the part that's important. So since our first x that we used came from this point, the first y that we write will need to come from that same point. So we're going to do... 3 minus the y from our um, second, other, other point, excuse me, 6 squared. And then just carefully do your order of operations. Um, watch your negatives and positives. Negative 1 minus 3 is a negative 4. We're going to square that. Plus 3 minus 6 is a negative 3. And we're also going to square that. Negative 4 squared is a positive 16. You should always come out with positive numbers right here at this step, because when you square, you get positive. Um, negative 3 squared is a positive 9. Now we add the two numbers. 16 plus 9 is 25, and now we take the square root. Now you're not always going to get a perfect square. Okay, If it's not like 36 or 4 or 1, something that has a perfect square root, you can just leave it in root form. But in this case, it works out. So we end up with 5 is the distance between the two points. Now let's do the midpoint. Now the midpoint is right in the center, so we're basically averaging the two points to find their middle. Okay. So what we do is, again, it is a point. It's not just a number. It's an actual point. So we'll end up with an x value and a y value. And here's our formula down here. We add the x values and divide by 2. We add the two y values and divide by 2. Again, it doesn't matter which number you put first. So we could go 3 from our first point is our x value, plus negative 1 is the x from our second point, and we're going to end up dividing that by 2. Now for our y's, we have 6, the y value from one of our points, plus 3, the y value from our other point, divided by 2. And we just want to simplify that. So for our first one, 3 plus negative 1 is 2 over 2, and the, the y value, 6 plus 3, is 9 over 2. 2 over 2 divided by 2 is 1. 9 halves is going to be a mixed number, so we're just going to leave it as 9 halves. So there is our distance was 5. Our midpoint was the point 1, 9 halves. And let's try a second one. And our very last one, I'll make up one that has fractions in it, so you can see how those work. Okay, so here is another example. We're asked to find the distance and the midpoint. So I'm going to go ahead and start. So remember, you use our distance formula down here. We subtract the x values. So 3 minus negative 2. Okay, our x values for our points were 3 and negative 2. We're going to square that. Plus, now let's subtract our y values, negative 7 minus 5, and we will square that. 3 minus negative 2 is 5 because that becomes a plus. Negative 7 minus 5 is a negative 12. Now we do our squaring. 
5 squared is 25, and 12 squared is 144. Next, we will go ahead and add those numbers together. We get 169, which happens to be a perfect square. The square root of 169 is 13. So our distance between the point, two points is 13 units. Now let's find our midpoint. So again, the midpoint, you add the x values and divide by 2 to find your x coordinate. Add the y values and divide by 2 to find your y coordinate. So for our x's, again, x values were negative 2 and 3. So we go negative 2 plus 3 over 2. The y values, we go 5 plus negative 7 divided by 2. And then we go ahead and simplify. Negative 2 plus 3 is a positive 1 over 2. 5 minus 7 is negative 2 over 2. Uh, 1 half, we're just going to leave it as 1 half. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. So there you have it. Our distance for these two points was 13, and our midpoint was at 1 half negative 1. And I'm going to go ahead and just make up uh, one that has a fraction in it, just so that you can see how this would work. Let's do the points uh, negative two-thirds, three halves, because I know sometimes fractions can give us kind of a headache, <laughs> but they are doable, so let's go over how this would work. Um, and our other point, let's use seven-thirds, two. Okay, we're going to find the distance between these two points, and we're going to find the midpoint. You use exactly the same formulas. So for distance, we do the square root of the x value subtracted. So 7 thirds minus negative 2 thirds, and we will square that. Plus the y value subtracted, 2 minus 3 halves, and we will square that also. So here we have 7 thirds minus 2 thirds. They have a common denominator, so we can combine them. Minus a negative would make that a plus there. So we have 7 thirds plus 2 thirds, which gives us 9 thirds, which we will square. Plus um, 2 minus 3 halves. Now, 2 minus 3 halves, notice 2 would be 4 halves. Okay, so if we got a common denominator, we'd have 4 halves minus 3 halves is just 1 half. Squared. We square those, and when you square fractions, you just square the top number and square the bottom number. Um, we could actually simplify this uh, 9 thirds here, <laughs> couldn't we? Because 9 thirds is just 3. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. This is the number 3. 9 divided by 3 would be 3. Okay, so we have 3 squared is 9 plus one-half squared, you square the top and bottom, that would be one-fourth. We want to add them together, okay? So how many fourths would nine be? To do that, you put it over one and multiply numerator and denominator by four. So nine times four gives me 36 fourths plus one-fourth. And we have the square root of 37 over four, um, if we can take the square root of the top or bottom, we want to do that, and we can because the square root of 4 is 2. We don't have a square root for 37, not a whole number square root anyways, so we're just going to leave it as the square root of 37 over 2 because 2 is the square root of 4. Okay, so don't, don't be afraid of those fractions. Let's find the midpoint. This tends to throw people also. So let's take a look at it. We do exactly the same thing as we did before. We're going to add the x values. So negative 2 thirds plus 7 thirds, and we're going to end up dividing that by 2. And then we're going to add the y values, 3 halves plus 2. Divide that by 2. Let's simplify this. Uh, negative 2 thirds and 7 thirds, again, they have a common denominator. We can just go ahead and work with those numerators. Um, that gives me 5 thirds, still over 2. The next one, I'm adding 3 halves, and I'm at 3 halves to 2. Okay, so remember, 2 halves again, or 2 would be the same as 4 halves. If we add those, we get 7 halves all over 2. 
Uh, at this point, notice we have multiple fractions there. And what you're supposed to do with fractions when you're dividing is invert the second fraction and multiply, which in this case, okay, the bottom is 2 or 2 over 1. This is 5 thirds times 1 half. If we flipped 2 and got its reciprocal, it would be 1 half. And same for here. If this is 2 over 1. If we flip it, because remember, dividing by fractions, you flip the second fraction or find its reciprocal and multiply. So that's what we're doing. We end up with 5 6 and 7 fourths. So the midpoint between these two points would be 5 6 7 fourths. Okay, so that gives you an overview of midpoint and distance.